Question, who's going to fly our planes? That's the question that aviation experts are asking as airlines battle a growing commercial pilot shortage. 23 ABC's Faven Kay is live in studio with more on a university right here in our own backyard that's making sure plenty, there's plenty of pilots in the future. Faven, good morning. Good morning, Mike and Alex. You know, being from Bakersfield, I'm always so excited to learn about our hidden gems. California Aeronautical University is fairly new in town, but it's already making an impact. Here's an inside look at that local college that's taking students from the classroom to the clouds. For most people, the sky's the limit. To pilots, the sky is home. I could fly it by myself, I could teach other people. At just 20 years old, Taylor Thompson is soaring to new heights. Literally. Like a lot of teens, the Bakersfield Christian High alum had no clue what she wanted to do after graduation. My stepdad was like, hey, Check out aviation, check out the school. I think you'd be really good at it. And then I found the school and a week later I pretty much started and I was just like, this is just the perfect fit. It's in my hometown. She's one of 80 students currently studying to become pilots at California Aeronautical University, located right here in Bakersfield. Everybody asked, oh, you go to CSUB, you go to BC, like what, what college do you go to? I was like, oh, well, I go to a flight school on the airport, it's brand new. They're like, oh, I didn't know that existed. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's there. Just steps away from Meadows Field, the aviation only university gives locals the opportunity to become professional pilots. We have student housing here. We have about 168 rooms, uh, dual occupancy, so we have about 300 beds here. We have our Skyway Cafe, full recreational facilities, 25 meter swimming pool, gym, billiards room, tennis courts, basketball courts, plenty of things here for our students to do. Immersed in aviation. In just three years, students can earn their bachelor's degree in professional aeronautics, taking them from the classroom to the cockpit. It is a commitment just because we don't get the summer break or the spring break, um, but it does help us because aviation is something you have to be persistent with. CAU's ambitious year-round program is committed to producing knowledgeable and well-equipped pilots, essential to preventing travel chaos. And it's a terrific time to become a pilot as airlines are scrambling to head off a looming commercial pilot shortage that could reach crisis levels in the near future. Right now, the the field of aviation is really booming, so what these airlines are trying to do are create pipelines for themselves to fill positions for pilots that we need. According to Boeing, in order to meet the demands of basic air travel, in the next two decades, the industry will need 117,000 new commercial pilots in North America alone and 637,000 worldwide. But just how did we reach this dilemma? In 2009, a plane crash near Buffalo killed 49 people. The National Transportation Safety Board says it was caused in part by pilot error, leading lawmakers to increase the number of required flight hours to become a pilot from 250 to 1,500. And to make matters worse, the U.S. military, who's pretty much been the main source for commercial pilots, just isn't producing them like they used to, now implementing new technology like drones and eliminating the need for traditional pilot training. What's happening is we domestically haven't been producing enough pilots outside of the military to be able to feed the need for pilots. So we've gotten to this point that a lot of those airline pilots are getting to retirement age and we don't have the numbers to be able to back those. And as the current crop of pilots reach the mandated retirement age of 65, more than 42% of active U.S. major airline pilots will retire over the next 10 years. Regional carriers are now partnering with collegiate aviation programs like CAU, recruiting students before they hit the job market. These airlines have developed um, cadet programs, which are basically pipeline or pathway programs, where it takes students from training into um, being able to be employed. And to sweeten the deal, these companies are offering enticing incentives to get these future pilots on board. Tuition reimbursement, signing bonuses, um, a lot of them offer flight benefits while they're still in the program. But does the urgency to generate more pilots outweigh the priority of safety? CAU's Director of Flight Operations, Adam Stoughton, says absolutely not. There's a code, a CFI code of ethics, that I uh, have them adhere to. It maintains the student at the highest level as well as their interests at the highest level because in the end, it's the performance output of the students that matters the most. In addition to intensive classroom training, students utilize state-of-the-art technology like these FAA-approved flight simulators before allowing them to test their skills in the real thing. And in no time, students are off into the sky, 
perfecting their craft in these $350,000 Cessna 172s that closely simulate the cockpit of commercial airliners. With less than a year left to complete the program, Tanner Henderson has not only earned his private pilot's license, but he's also one of CAU's flight instructors. Just yesterday I was the student trying to first learn how to fly and now I have students of my own teaching them how to fly and uh, hopefully they'll be in the same shoes one day. California Aeronautical University expects enrollment to double by next year, helping local residents spread their wings and earn them too. If you'd like to learn more about California Aeronautical University, visit our website, turn to 23com There you'll find information about enrollment and student tours. Live in studio, I'm Fabian K, 23ABC.